It's assumed that Jack the Ripper, at the end of 1888, simply disappeared, that he vanished and became one of the great murder mysteries of all time. But there's an alternative version of what happened to Jack the Ripper, that he actually came here to New York, returned from London to carry on his murder spree. Francis Tumblety was an Irish-American doctor arrested by Scotland Yard, who then jumped bail, got on a ship and went back to New York, avoiding facing charges of being Jack the Ripper. He returned to a city where he had lived and worked as a herb doctor for many years, and no attempt was made to extradite him back to London. Tumblety had been arrested in London over four acts of gross indecency with men. But when Scotland Yard swapped notes with their American counterparts, they began to suspect that he was Jack the Ripper. Because what American police told Scotland Yard was that Tumblety had a long criminal record in the United States and was rumoured to own a bizarre collection of uteruses in glass jars. His hatred of women was also well known. So once back in New York, Tumble T is nearly convicted for a serious assault on a young man who was clearly gay and who he'd been trying to pick up. But he's defended in court by none other than the district attorney. And then we have the earlier murders in Texas, which are never investigated. And then we have the copycat killing of Carrie Brown, which is never linked to him. Think about it. Tumblety arrives back in New York. Months later, a woman is killed in exactly the same way as the Whitechapel murders. And Tumblety also appears in court over a violent assault on a young man. Plus, his valet is publicly suspected of being his murderous accomplice. For some strange reason, it begins to look as if Tumblety is untouchable. He's not extradited back to England, even though Scotland Yard had arrested him for the Ripper murders, and he just absconded. He jumped bail, no attempt to extradite him. He was believed, suspected, to have been involved in earlier murders in Texas. Again, no arrest, no conviction. And then there is a copycat killing, a copycat Ripper killing in New York after he returns. He's never arrested. What is going on? Tumblety had networks in America that protected him from being arrested and imprisoned. Time and again, we see senior society figures coming to his rescue. The fact that Tumblety has a Texan valet called Jack arouses suspicion in New York among journalists and some police when he returns. But again, <laughs> that isn't investigated, even though there are those earlier Texan murders, and some believe Tumblety directed Jack the Texan to commit the murders in Whitechapel. There are many unanswered questions about mysterious deaths in the United States linked to Tumblety before his arrest in 1888 over the Whitechapel murders and afterwards. Yet he evaded justice because police journalists, politicians and others made sure he avoided the hangman's noose. Read my book to find out why.